Hello YouTube, it's Harry from HTL Tech. Welcome to my review of the Openbox V8S. The Openbox V8S is the successor to the Openbox V5S. It's a low-end satellite TV box costing only £32 direct from the Openbox website. The thing that sets it apart is the fact that it runs Linux. That means that you can run CC Cam, which in turn allows you to access pay TV channels cheaply. But the question remains, should you buy this box or should you spend a little more on a superior one? Firstly, let's talk about design. The Openbox V8S is functional, and that's the best way to describe it. It doesn't try anything new, which in my opinion is a good thing. The box is black and is very small and quite light. It will easily and stealthily fit into any TV arrangement. The box has a curved top which makes resting things on top of it quite difficult, and the plastic it's made from is good quality, but is also a fingerprint magnet. The front of the box has a covered USB port and an LED panel which tells you the time or channel you are watching. The LEDs are very bright and cannot be dimmed. This means that the box creates a lot of light in the dark which can be a little annoying. The back of the unit is all ports. The box has an LNB loop, LNB in, HDMI 1.3 for 1080p output, SCART, Ethernet, another USB, RS-232 and DC 12V connections. The two USB ports allow for Wi-Fi or 3G dongle connections or an external hard drive to record to as the box does not have an internal storage device. Even though the box has two LNB sockets, you can only record one program at a time. The box is also raised on four little feet which aid airflow as the box is fanless. The box may say Wi-Fi on the front, but it does not have it built in. You need to either connect via Ethernet or buy a Wi-Fi dongle. Overall, this is a well-designed box. But what about the remote? The remote, like the box, is small and black. It is made out of cheap plastic, which has a horrible smell that wears off over time. The remote takes AAA batteries, which are included. The remote uses IR to communicate with the box. It works well, the range is good, and the remote will work from tight angles. The remote, in my opinion, is too narrow, which makes holding it hard. It is not shaped too well either. Coupled with the cheap plastic, makes it very slippery in the hand. All of the buttons are made of rubber and are very small and wobble badly. This makes it difficult to use at times. Key buttons like the channel and volume buttons are badly placed and no larger than any other buttons, causing you to keep having to look to see if you, the right button is pressed. Overall, the remote is badly designed and it's a real letdown. Next, we are going to talk about software. In a satellite box, the software is as important as the hardware, and luckily for the Openbox V8S, the software is a huge disappointment. As I have mentioned, the box is running Linux, which allows you to run CC Cam. CC Cam allows you to buy gift for as little as £5 per year, which gives you access to the full Sky or any other TV provider package. This is a huge advantage of, of this box, and it's the cheapest Linux box out at the moment. But it has some downsides. This version of Linux doesn't allow for customization, which is a real letdown. The box has plain ugly menus that look unfinished. The box has a 600MHz dual-core processor and 256MB of RAM. This means that the box is underpowered and this reflects in performance. Menus take ages to load and the response time from remote presses is annoying. The EPG is the worst that I've ever seen. The box only loads the next one program and it does not do it in the background. This means finding a program is very difficult. The channel list does not update automatically either and the channels are arranged in a bad way which makes finding a channel difficult. The box does also have apps like YouTube and Weather. The apps don't work well and they all have an unfinished vibe. An upside for the box is it can play files off a USB pen drive which works well as expected. Finally, the box also has time shift capabilities to allow live TV pausing. It has to be activated in the menu but does not work well and seems like an afterthought. Overall, the Openbox V8S is a generally well-designed satellite box which has badly designed software. The box is very cheap and for what it can do, it is easy to overlook its issues. This box will be a good pick for anyone on a low budget, but if you have a slightly more money, I recommend that you look at the Zygema Star S2 as it is a far superior box, which is only slightly more expensive. It's been Harry from HTL Tech. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, please, in the comments below, please drop any questions you have. Please hit the like button and please subscribe if you want to see more reviews, unboxings and just general tech videos. So anyway, it's been Harry from HTL Tech. See you next time.